Hello everybody, I am at Crewer Station, I think that's how you pronounce it, or yeah, we're having a big debate on the, on the train how you pronounce it, and just to prove that we are definitely there, behind me you can see the summit sign which is 1,350 feet or 411 metres, I've just proved that I can actually read. So I guess that means that point there is actually higher than the station, which is down there. See, so I've never been here before in my life. I've been through it by train about four times, rough estimate. Might be less than that, to be honest, but definitely been through it before. But I've, I've always thought of, mm, I need to try and get, to get the train here. So today we got the train from Crownlark up to here, so that was about an hour. I know I could have driven down to Glasgow and got the train up, but if you do that, you'd have to leave hours before. I don't know how long it takes to get to Glasgow, but I reckon about three, four hours maybe. I'm just picking them up my head, but I don't actually know, but... So the train journey was really good. We didn't get have to pay for a ticket, which has actually upset me, because I wanted a ticket to prove that I've, I've been here. So, if you, if you get back very often to get a ticket, I might just go over the internet and buy, buy a ticket. <laughs> Anyhow, but I also feel bad about using the train, not paying for it. Yeah, me too. Yeah, he feels guilty as well. I don't think he does, but... Any other time I think it's there, lost, but the fact you've been to the highest new station in the UK, and I, other than the video blog, I can't prove it, but I can't check in, no phone reception. Because even that's weird, because normally you can also get a phone reception, but we're saying, I think about 12 miles from the nearest road, or something like that. So the only way to get it really is by train. It's also one of the most remote places in Britain, other than the fact there's a train station. That's the very else is quite this remote. And also still got some snow in the hills behind us. So the railway station is over there. The other thing it did make me laugh, last time I came for it, it didn't dot matrix, it's now got dot matrix so you know when the next train is. So it's also good, it means you can help us running late. But if we miss this train, which we're definitely not going to miss, we'd be here till like 8 in the morning, I think it is. Which I don't think I'd want to do, we didn't bring a tent or anything with us. We did bring jackets because it did say it might rain today, and I don't want to be the idiot that's walking about for a few hours getting soaking wet, thinking why did they not bring a jacket? There's also going to be at least one person that did it. So anyway, I can't believe how nice this place is. You know it's like when you go somewhere and you think, is it going to be nice to get off the journey? Actually, it's better than you think it's going to be, and today, it's definitely one of them days. I feel like it's going to be doing a Vic and Jeff. Do you know who Vic and Jeff are? No. No. Just for anybody who doesn't know who Vic and Jeff is, this year they travelled to every single station. Or was it last year? It might have been last year actually. They basically travelled to every single railway station in the UK and they stayed at this one. And you can just see how amazed he was because they set the dome up and you name it and they stayed. And they all signal box on the platform, which I'll just turn the camera around and show it to you. Annoying Neil. Hi Neil. I've known Neil since we were about years. years. Basically since primary school. So since about three or four maybe. A long time anyhow, and we're now in our thirties. I'm not gonna say what age we are because I don't that's a sore point. He'll he'll turn the big photo before I do anyhow. Yeah. Just sort of rub it into him. Anyway! I'm going to get going now, I might add a little bit, I'm just going to walk from here down to the Ufostal which apparently takes 15 minutes to do, but as I say we're here for a few hours, so I might as well go on a little explore. I so told you would be back, we have literally walked about 50 metres, and at the moment, oh, wow. well you can just about, Neil says the loss, he's joking, he's, I said you can't see anything but we've just moved 10 metres, you can now see Bill, but literally, there's, there's nobody about in the, in the hotel behind, there's like, you can't hear a single thing, it's just weird because you normally hear like cars, people, seat, flies, whatever than us do. There's nothing, it's just... I just can't get over an ice this, it's just like, why have, never, why have we never done this before? Yeah, as, as Neil says, who knows. But I say, part of the weather's so nice. It's, I often do come up to Scotland and we have like, I have like maybe, I come up for like a week and have two nice days and the rest is like raining in the morning or raining at night, but at the moment, since we got back from Cyprus on Saturday night, Sunday morning, it's not ringing once. The other thing I did, oh well, yeah, yesterday we did the Quinning Canal. Mm -hmm. 
which is the car the world's most beautiful sort of car. I didn't do any video on then, but it was amazing. It was a long walk, as you say, we did nine and a half miles there and obviously we walked nine and a half miles back, which is a long way for anybody, e even for me when I'm used to doing the walks, I still must get blisters. So I suppose we just did a bit of bird watching as well, not that type of bird because I'm not into women. So if you look behind me, can't even see it, Some, somewhere behind me anyway is the hotel. And the real space, and fortunately the screen's wearing a bit out, so I can see things that I don't know if you can. Well, I'm just about to answer one of my other questions I had when I got here, see if, see if I'm right. I am. Well, I had on the, like, on the internet until not long ago, because this place didn't have any power, but they definitely do now. I can tell you how I know they've definitely got main power because there's no main cable, so that'd be annoying. But down there, electricity cable. Now, if it said fibre, I'd be guessing it's lighted, but it doesn't. <laughs> because I just like having fibre internet. But I'm just rabbiting on, am I? How can you not rabbit on when you scroll the scenery? Come on, Neil, what, what can you tell me? What facts have you can tell me? Um, um, uh, well, I can tell you. Hills. There's some hills. Well, they, well, yeah, they must be hills, but they might be on road, some of them. But they but they should all do 412, 11 metres above sea level. That might be another two, three hundred. But I don't think I don't know what what has to be to be a Munro or a mountain. Uh, uh, hmm, so they might just be hills then. You just can't help but look around and go, wowzers! If you're ever in Scotland or or in the sort of general area, I definitely recommend you get a train to that real crew rail station. It's amazing. It's just like. How can something this nice be in the UK? Other than me, of course, I'm nice. Have you got any facts for me yet? I'm nice too. Oh, he's nice too. Any, any, any good looking ladies, Neil's young, free and single? Yeah. Hiya. Hiya. There we go. He's definitely not gay, so don't get your hopes up. He we, we might turn gay if he gets desperate. We won't talk too much about Neil, but it's not nice embarrassing on the camera. He's not a bad looking chap though. He could do a lot worse, put it that way. Thanks. <laughs> I'm just rabbiting on at the moment. You probably are watching this thinking, why am I watching this? Where's he get to see me? This will be the, oh yeah, we're walking to a youth hostel. We're not staying in a youth hostel, we just wanted to explore because we've got three hours here. I don't know the name of the lock. I could get my phone out and I could have a look, but I can't be bothered. It's a lock, all we need to know. And down there's the youth hostel. If I knew the name of the youth hostel, that would give the name of the lock away, but I guess it's named after the lock. But who knows? Anyway, I'm going to go on again and I'll speak to you all, pardon me, when something really interesting happens. So maybe Lee never. Don't laugh. Bye. Again, just to sign this video blog off, I've got another 20 minutes till the train is due, it's due at 6.25 off the top of my head. So this, we've had a little walk, we went down to the youth hostel which is that way, which about, I reckon 15 minutes walk, but it took us longer than that, but I think it's actually we did that much walking yesterday, we're both still feeling it. But I just can't believe how nice it is, as I said earlier, if you ever have the chance to come up to Kruurken, you really... Sure, whatever. You really need to do it. It's funny that I'm Scots and I can't even say it right, but that's that's me being dyslexic and the other things. But anyway, so I can't believe how nice it is. You do need to come here. It's, it's just it's amazing. You just can't express how nice it is. Of course, you, you could have had a better day for it. It's just, if anything much, we're both sitting at the railway station and I was literally going like that, wiping the sweat off my head. It's still lovely. But yeah, it's just absolutely amazing. I don't know what else I can say about it, in fact. I need to get going now, get ready for getting on the train. But a bit embarrassing we missed it and then having to wait till 8 in the morning for the next one. Don't want to be doing that. Anyway, do subscribe, like, comment, all the normal things. Say goodbye to Neil. And any lovely ladies, there he is. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I was a y'all. Or if any lovely boys for me, obviously. Anyway, also get it by me. Anyway, I'm just wrapping it up. Switch y'all, we're doing another video blog. Bye.